Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. We're here with another video. Today we're going to be doing something really useful and that is removing heavy noise in a smarter way with Affinity Photo 2.0's compound masks. As you can see here we're going to be dealing with this image which was shot with an ISO of greater than 200,000. So this is a really noisy image. Of course, Affinity Photo comes with a capable noise reduction feature. But what's the problem with using the noise reduction feature of Affinity Photo? Let's just try the standard noise reduction of Affinity Photo, which is available in Develop Persona. We're just going to click on the Details tab here, and then we're just going to choose Noise Reduction. As you can see, it's already clicked. So let me just zoom in a little bit here so we can really see the noise. If I try to smoothen this background here, like so, Affinity does a great job of smoothing out the image, but at the expense of the details in the statue. The noise reduction operation reduces the quality of the image because you don't get to see the details of the statue. That's the problem with standard noise reduction. What we're going to attempt to do today is try to improve on this noise reduction with compound masks. All right, so how are we going to go about fixing this image? So right now I have the, the raw image once again, and um, I've removed the, the noise reduction first. So let me just first duplicate this. So I'm just going to right click, click duplicate. And then I'm going to have the, the bottom image here will be the original image with all the details, but with a lot of noise. And the top image here will be the noise reduced image. If I go into develop persona here, go to noise reduction. There you go. So now this is nice and blurred. And click, I'm going to click develop here. So now we have the two images. The one at the bottom is the noisy image, the original noisy image, and the one at the top is the denoised image where all the details were basically lost. What we're going to do here is we're going to try to blend these two images together with live masks. What we hope to achieve is an image where the background is blurred but the details are maintained. We hope to have an improved denoised image from what we see here. Okay, so to do this, we're going to use two masks. Because we're going to use two masks, we're going to use a compound mask. Now, if you don't know what a compound mask is, you can look at my previous video where I explain that in great detail. At this top layer here, I'm just going to click on this mask button, the mask layer button. I'm going to choose compound mask. All right, so now we have our compound mask. Let's add in our first mask, which will be a luminance range live mask. So I'm just going to click on the mask layer once again. I'm going to click on luminosity range mask, like so. And I'm going to drag the luminosity range mask inside the compound mask, like so. All right. If you notice from this image here, let me just uncheck this, all right? So if you notice from this image here, the heavy noise is actually coming from the darker areas. You can see, so the background here, which is heavily in shadow, is the one which is really containing all the ugly noise. So less noise can be found in the brighter areas, like in this glass pane here, and also in the face of the, the statue. All right, so what I'm going to do here is use the luminosity mask to target the darker areas here. Let's show the luminosity mask dialog box by clicking on the thumbnail. And I'm just going to click on preview. And because I want the dark areas to be targeted, I'm going to form the graph in reverse. So it will look something like that. This is the kind of graph we want. We're in the targeted areas, the one which we want our adjustment to show through to be in white. The white portions of the image is where the adjustment will show through 
while the dark areas is the opposite. It's where the adjustment will not show through. So we can adjust this curve further. Let's just make this really white. Let's make the background really white to make sure that this has the maximum adjustment effect. So I can just play around with this curve. Okay, so let's just brighten it a little bit here. And let's just make the brighter areas a little bit darker so there will be no blurring in these areas. Okay, I'm just playing around with the curve here. Right, so I think this curve looks better. All right, so this looks better. What we're getting here is those dark areas really are in white, and this will be very blurred out. This will be where the noise reduction will really show, while these dark areas here are the brighter areas, and we're going to see more of the details show. Okay, so that's the idea here. All right. So let's take a look at the result. So you can see that it seems to be much better. If I hide this top layer, you can see how much noise was reduced. It retains all the detail pretty much. So that looks pretty good. However, there is still some blurring going on in this statue. The original image was a little, still a little bit sharper. What we can do to sharpen the details further of this image is to add another mask. And this time we're going to be using the bandpass mask. Let's go ahead and do that. The bandpass mask will focus on the edges. To add the bandpass mask, I'm just going to click on mask layer and then just choose band pass mask what I'm going to do here with this band pass mask is to make the edges show through and we can do this by adjusting these sliders here now I'm going to discuss the band pass mask in another video but suffice to say what you need to do here is increase the high band here to emphasize the edges so I'm just going to increase that just lower the low band here and you can use this graph here to enhance the edges even further so I'm just going to just bring this curve up and this will as you can see what we want is the edges to be very prominent so we can really see it okay so as you can see the edges are going to be in white and those non edges are going to be in black all right so that looks fine okay let's just close this now now that we have our bandpass mask what operator do we need to use in order to improve the current luminosity mask right so the current luminosity mask looks like this right to prevent the edges from blurring further what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the bandpass mask from the luminosity mask so if I option click the compound mask, this is what we have. Okay, because we are right now we are doing an add. So what we want is actually a subtract to remove the edges from being blurred. So what I'm gonna do here is just choose subtract. Okay, and let's look at the result here. There you go. You can see as I show the effect that the bandpass mask now is emphasizing the edges a little bit better. It is a very minor effect, but it is there. So if you zoom in, you can see that the bandpass mask does show the detail a little bit better. Now, of course, it will introduce a little bit more noise, but that's okay. So let us just compare now. This was the before and the after. Before and after. The noise was really reduced, and yet we maintained the very nice details of this image. I think a very good result and definitely an improvement from the standard noise reduction. Just as a reminder, the standard noise reduction looked like this, while our edit, which utilized a combination of the luminosity mask and the bandpass mask, yielded this result. Well, that's all I have. I hope you found this video helpful. Compound masks have a lot of applications. 
and you can get very sophisticated results. If you notice, we never did any brushing or anything like this because it'll be very tough to brush this image right here. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share this content to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.